Hi families, in previous videos we've checked out how decimals are related to fractions. Tonight we're going to practice converting fractions to decimals and decimals to fractions. You can also see the written word form right in the middle. But there are two ways to convert fractions to decimals and decimals to fractions. One is with your knowledge of place value. It starts with ones, then the tens, then the hundreds. And then with decimal style it starts with and, then the tenths, then the hundredths. So if you know place value, then you can look at a number like 1.4, place it in the place value chart. Well, 1 is going to go in the 1's place value. The decimal is already there, and the 4 is going to go in the tenths. So it's read as 1 and 4 tenths, which makes it very easy to write the written word form and also easy to create the fraction or mixed number. In this case, you'd have 1 and 4 over 10. We learned in the previous lesson that when I'm writing a fraction after converting it from a decimal, it must be over the denominator of 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000, 100,000, or million. So in the case of this one, we have a fraction 5 and 15 hundredths. And again, if I place that into my place value chart, it's going to be somewhat easy. I first take my whole number 5 and I put it in the 1s. And then I read the rest of the number. It's 15 hundredths, so it's going to be 1. 0.15 or 5.15 I should say. So your answer for number 2 to fill in this space would be 5 and 15 hundredths. However, I understand that students are young learners and still trying to figure out how they can convert fractions to decimals and decimals to fractions. So I taught them what I call the Whomping Method. You can check out Lesson 2 videos to see more on the Whomping Method, but I'll show you how it's done on this worksheet. For example, if you are placed with a decimal and you want to turn it into a fraction, if you take this decimal 0 0.9, the first step is to take that 9 and put it right here. Then you just have to womp from left to right when you're converting from decimals to fractions. And this is what it sounds like and looks like. So when you womp over, womp. You now are done. It's whomped over one time. Well, what that tells you is that when I'm placing this over a denominator, it's always over 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000, 100,000, or million, so it has to be a 1, and then I whomped once, so I have 1, 0. This is written as 9 tenths in written word form. 9 hundredths, on the other hand, if I know place value, I know that the 9 is going to go in the hundredths place value, and there is a zero, that takes its place here. If I use the whomping method, I know that 9 is going to be my numerator, and it's either going to be over 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000, 100,000, or 1 million. Well, how do I know how many it's going to be over? I whomp however many times it takes me to get to the right of this number. In other words, whomp, whomp. That's twice. Let's listen to it again. Whomp, whomp. Because I whomped twice, that means I have 100 as a denominator. The same goes for when you take a fraction and you're converting it to a decimal. You just take your whole number and you write it down. That's good to go. Your decimal point is ready as well. And now you just have to take your 74. And this time, the only difference is, is you move from right to left. How many times are we going to whomp here? Whomp, whomp. That's 2. So the decimal goes here. The reason I knew that it was 2 is because this is over 100. Let's take a listen as to what that would sound like. Womp. Womp. Again, I womp twice because there are two zeros on the bottom, which means it's 3 and 74 hundredths. Same thing goes as we continue down the worksheet. How many times do I womp here? Womp. So it is a whole number 6. My 4 is my numerator, and because I whomped once, because again, remember, it sounded like this, Whomp. then I put it over 10. It sounds kind of silly, but it works. This strategy will work. Again, I take this 2 if I want to convert the fraction to a decimal. I place my 2. I start all the way on the right, and how many times am I going to womp? One time for one zero. Here it is. Whomp. That's what it sounds like. This is what it looks like. Womp. And now that I have my decimal, I know that it is 0 and 2 tenths. 
even if it's a double digit number? Absolutely. The double digit would be your whole number. And then you're going to womp from left to right when it's decimals to fractions. This is what it would sound like. And why would it sound like that? Because womp, womp. You can only encompass or contain one digit within one womp. So in this case, I went over two times, which means 19 is my numerator. And my denominator has to be 100 because I womped twice. I hope you can finish up this last one, 1 and 6 tenths. Well, as a fraction, my whole number is 1, and it's 6 tenths, so it's over 10. In other words, 1, and how do I figure out the decimal? I womp. I start from right to left because it's fractions to decimals. This is what it would look like and sound like. There's my 1. <laughs> How did I know that it was one womp and it would be six tenths? Because I had a ten in my denominator, and that's one zero, which means one womp. I hope that taking a look at place value and the womping method has helped.